Haven't yeah. quite seen this before. Yeah. That is the power of that. It is. To cut a complex part like this titanium guitar, you've got a complex process. And to meet that process, you really don't want a complex solution to fixturing. That's why we used fifth axis rock locks. I'm going to be going out to DN Solutions Tech Center where I'm gonna meet up with Sean. He's gonna walk us through the fifth axis rock lock setup and some of the unique things that we did to get this project done. A very critical part of producing this titanium guitar was the work holding. Sure. And fifth axis was a huge part of that. Yeah, happy to help support. Yeah, Absolutely. so because your products are so flexible, it really gave us the ability to be very creative with the fixturing. Rather than do this all on a mill turn machine, we're prepping it there and setting up for these risers. So I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the risers. Sure, well, part of the modularity within the fifth axis work holding is your ability to quickly exchange 96 to 52. Yeah. So what I really like about what you did here is you're, you're really showing that, you know, most shops might think they have to do the 96 so they can only do the 52. Yeah. So what's exciting about this is that you're utilizing the 96 to 52, allows you to pop this in and out of the machine, yeah. big parts to small parts. Yeah, so, and great use. The accuracy of it, we've got the same risers set up for this part as this one, right? right. So we're, right. we can interchange parts. And as you'll see here, these are partially finished parts, right? We don't have any finish passes on this, but we know it's gonna be accurate enough to throw in there, right? Same thing on, the, on this uh, face here, we're waiting on a thread mill. So rather than let the machine sit idle for a couple days while we're waiting on that thread mill, we pop in another part, get it going, and we're confident enough, even though some of this is finished, that that fifth axis will line us right back up and pick up where we left off. Most certainly, you know, part of the modularity within the system is the repeatability. Yeah. Come on, come off. Your setup time really doesn't exist. Yeah. So being able to use the same riser for either one of these parts, I'd imagine it's awfully helpful. Yeah. So another thing I wanted to show you, I thought we got pretty creative with this. I don't know if you've seen this before, but we're not oh. utilizing all the pull studs on those risers. People have done a lot of interesting stuff with the pull studs, haven't yeah. quite seen this before. Yeah. So but we're using your blank pull studs to fill in the empty voids? Sure, yeah. Any spot that you don't have the pull stud, we yeah. do offer blanks. You can yeah. drop into the plate, they'll tighten up. Like, and, it's, like it's been there the whole time. Yeah. And going at it with a big face mill, uh, we're using ISCAR tooling for this. We're taking a lot of material off having no chatter issues. I mean, it's just been fantastic. That's great to hear. I mean, we, we stand behind our products. We support our products. It's built by machinists for yeah. machinists. Yeah. So we're well, just happy to be along for the ride. Th this project is a testament to that. Yeah, we appreciate it. And uh, anything you guys need further, let me know. Let us know.